is good, John. Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. Hold on, wait a minute. I sense the disturbance in the force. Like, y'all didn't look like y'all was like 100%. Like, there we go. Yeah. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button right now and go ahead while you're at it, get this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead, roll that intro and get straight into this banger, man. you guys so you guys see the title and you see the thumbnail so let's just go ahead and talk about it man basically i posted a video of me doing a pull in my car in track mode on instagram and the comments went crazy now everybody knows the comment section is always like one of the littest parts of any post you know what i'm saying on social media because that's where you got your trolls that's where you got your internet mechanics that's where you got your youtube school graduate mechanics you feel me everybody thinks they know everything in the comment section so basically um the comments on that video went crazy and people were basically talking about what they think track mode does to the car and i'm gonna keep it a buck I'm tired of seeing this false narrative. So I thought, let me just go ahead and make a YouTube video real quick and break this down to y'all, bro. So first and foremost, prior to contrary belief, bro, if you've got a 10 speed Camaro or really and truly, if you got a six gen Camaro, bro, tour mode is the mode that you should be racing your car in, okay? like just bottom line tour mode is the mode you should be racing your car in i don't know where people got this oh track mode is the mode that you need to be racing no bro like no no not even not even close dog like not even close damn we're going through a tunnel right now and we're in the road bro like i wouldn't even dare rev this right now i can't lie but anyway um track mode honestly i don't even use track mode bro i'm just gonna keep it a buck so let's just go ahead for those of you who are not familiar with the six gen camaro the six gen platform and you don't understand what these modes mean in the first place let's go ahead and list them off and i'll explain what each mode does to the best of my knowledge the modes and we'll talk about them so the first mode that you get when you get in a six gen is going to be tour mode. Now, tour mode is basically the mode that is supposed to be the most fuel efficient for your car. Now, the reason why I say that is because of the simple fact that when you put your car into tour mode, the car is literally programmed to tell the transmission to shift as fast as possible to get you into the higher gear as fast as possible now what does this mean right what what do you mean higher gear ji what are you talking about basically bro the car is trying to get into your overdrive gear as fast as possible that way it'll keep your rpms down and in turn keeping the rpms down means the engine is not being put under as much of a load and you're not burning as much fuel so there's the whole logic of having the fuel efficiency plus on top of that if your car is not tuned if your car is factory that is also where dod takes effect now if you don't know what dod is it's basically cylinder deactivation um so basically this is a a system that Chevy has implemented into all of their vehicles where while you're driving, if you're not really on the gas like that, if you're just cruising, your car is actually gonna be shifting into what's called four cylinder mode, where for us V8s, literally four of the cylinders are shut off 
and so you're literally only running on four cylinders in turn that's also supposed to help you save gas how true is it bro i don't really know because none of my cars are ever stock i have mods for the car before i even have the car so like i don't really like attest to this too much to be honest here was good job you know what i'm saying so i'm interrupting this video real quick because i've been going through the channel's analytics and just looking at the numbers and stuff like that and i cannot lie there is a lot of you who are watching the videos tuning in every time it uploads and you're not subscribed to the channel bro I need y'all to do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button real quick for the kid. It is free. There's no payment or anything that you have to do. There's no subscription that you have to sign up for or none of that. Like you just hit the subscribe button and then you hit the little bell notification. It's going to drop a little drop down for you. And you got like three options. Um, just make sure you select all notifications that way every time i drop a video i drop a short i drop an update to the channel you guys are getting notified when i do that so you don't miss out on any of the content any of the updates with vader anything like that so please 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 if you haven't already do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button as you guys can see on the screen bro it's a lot of y'all that are watching the videos and are not subscribed so please do your boy a favor and subscribe now let's get back to the video all right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we're back at the hotel now, um, in the room, and it's crazy. I gotta show y'all this. G80 sitting right in front of us. Oh my God, I can't lie, that joint is clean as hell, and it looks like it has red interior. I don't know like how well you guys can see that, but anyway, back to what we were talking about. So, like I said, bro, tour mode is supposed to save you on gas, right? Now, I can't attest to this, I can't deny this neither, solely because of the simple fact that my car did not stay factory or on the factory tune <laughs> for longer than like two days, to be honest. <laughs> so that kind of eliminates my opinion on that. But let's go ahead and continue to move forward. So after you have tour mode, you have sport mode. Now, everybody already knows. Sport mode is the fun mode. You dig what I'm saying? Sport mode has performance shift. It also has the pops and bangs that we all know and love. And it also has the valves wide open on the MPP cars, the cars that are equipped with MPP. Now, that being said, after sport mode, you have track. Now, track mode, this mode right here, okay? This is the most common misconception. Okay, track mode is literally meant to be used on the track. And I'm not talking about the drag strip. I'm not talking about the quarter mile nor the eighth mile. I'm talking about an auto course track. Like right? you're driving through an obstacle course and being timed and you're trying to beat somebody else's time. Like that is what the track mode is used for. If you notice in track mode, your car is holding out the gears way longer. It's not shifting through the gears as fast as it does in sport or tour. Why? Because it is literally meant for taking your car on a road course. So that's what track mode is for. Now, after track mode, you have snow and ice and like, it's really self-explanatory, but I'll explain it for, for you. Yeah, you, right there, you, that looked at me when I said snow and ice and was like, what the hell, it's a Camaro. You, I'm gonna explain it for you. All right, bro, so basically, snow and ice is like, supposed to be like the slowest setting out of all of them. To be honest, if you have DOD still active, you're doubling back with tour mode, except this is also going to tweak the suspension a little bit to try to help your car in situations where you might hit black ice and, you know, you might lose it a little bit. The car is trying to help you out to be able to basically steer it properly. Now, I know a lot of that was a lot of talking and a lot of you guys may have already clicked off of this video. A lot of you guys may be thinking about clicking off of this video, but wait I am here to back it up, okay? So I've done multiple pulls, as you guys have seen, 
in tour mode, whether it be at the drag strip, whether it be on the street, whether it be me racing somebody, it's always in tour mode because of the simple fact that I told you guys earlier, the car is shifting as fast as possible. Simple as that. All right, y'all, so that was a whole bunch of talking, right? You know what I'm saying? I made a whole bunch of allegations, you feel me? I told you guys a whole bunch of stuff, right? And at the end of the day, without facts, without it being proven and tested, it's not 100% true, right? So what I'm about to do is I'm going to prove my point two different ways. One way in this video and the second way in Monday's video. So with that being said, by the time you guys are watching this vlog, I should actually be making it back into Houston with the family, God willing. So this weekend, I'm gonna take the car out and I'm gonna drag you the car. I'm gonna do 6130 times from tour mode and from track mode. Same content of E, same, you know, everything. Like, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm immediately gonna do the pull and tour. And then as soon as I do the tour mode pull, I'm gonna switch over to track and I'm gonna do the pull immediately right after. And you guys will be able to see the difference in the times on the draggy. But in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna overlay a pull in tour mode um, and then a pull in track mode. And you guys will be able to see the difference just off of watching the video, just watch the RPMs, that's all I gotta say. Now, that being said, y'all, I just gotta reiterate this one more time, man. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do your boy your favor and hit the subscribe button, man. I got a whole bunch of banger content coming to the channel, bro. If you guys haven't been in the loop with all the vlogs, bro, a lot of things are about to change to the car cosmetically and performance-wise, bro. So please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these bangers, bro. I'm also trying to get the car to the drag strip this Friday and this Sunday. So that's two drag strip videos that I'm possibly going to be able to make on top of the draggy videos that I'm going to be trying to make. So you guys just know content is about to go crazy. But enough of that jibber jabber, enough of me yapping, enough of me yapping. Let's go ahead and cut to the clips I know y'all want to see. All right, y'all, so that's gonna go ahead and close out today's video. Let me know what you guys think of just those videos right there. Did you see what I was talking about? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, live chat, if you're in the premiere right now, say yerp. Can I get a yerp chat? You dig what I'm saying? Go ahead, put it in the chat right now. But um, with all that being said, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet and you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up. If this video was informative to you, man, I hope, I hope, I hope if you have a 6th gen and you've been confused on what mode to race in or if you're interested in getting a 6th gen and you're looking to see like what's best to do with these cars, man, I hope this video helped you out. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.